Welcome back to some more news on the NHL Free Agent Frenzy. This is part two, covering a whole bunch more of the free agent signings today on July the 1st, 2018. We'll discuss all those signings coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams, so if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Mentioned off the top here, we have a whole bunch more free agent signings to discuss. Now, earlier we had part one of this video, which came out earlier this morning, discussing a lot of the other confirmed signings. If you missed that video, there's a link down below in the description, and there as well will be one on the end screen of this video. Uh, so obviously, well, the signings we're gonna talk about now are different from those ones, so you can catch that one once this video is completed. So there's a whole bunch more signings to discuss here, so let's jump in. It's a very active day with a lot of players changing teams. Uh, so like I said, let's jump into what we know so far here in part two of the free agent frenzy signings. Now, one of the bigger names, Paul Stastny, we mentioned in the other video, was a leading contender to go to Vegas, but at that point in time, it was not confirmed. But now we can confirm Paul Stastny is a member of the Vegas Golden Knights. Stastny has signed a three-year deal worth $19.5 million, so obviously he'll likely be their second-line center. Obviously, at this point in time, Vegas has lost David Perron. It's unclear what's going on with James Neal. As of the recording of this video, James Neal has not signed a contract with Vegas or any other team at this point, so he may return to Vegas or he may be on the move. We'll, uh, we'll update that situation as it develops. The Vegas Golden Knights have also signed defenseman Nick Holden as well to a short-term deal as well. I don't have the full details of that one, but he is signed to the Vegas Golden Knights. The St. Louis Blues have made a couple of deals here. Obviously, earlier, as we reported, they lost Carter Hutton, who's been their backup goaltender the past few years, who earned an opportunity to go to the Buffalo Sabres, likely as a starting goaltender. Well, they've signed Chad Johnson, uh, who formerly played with the Buffalo Sabres as well as some other teams. Uh, Johnson's bounced around here in the last couple of years, uh, but he is now a member of the St. Louis Blues, signed to a one-year contract. The more notable note for the Blues, though, they've signed center Tyler Bozak, formerly of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, they've signed Bozak to a $5 million deal over the next three years. So Bozak will certainly provide some depth down the middle for the Blues. It was rumored they were interested in bringing back Paul Stastny. That never came to be. Um, so obviously they look to Tyler Bozak. Here's another option. Bozak should fit well here with the Blues and provide some probably number two, number three center depth for them down the middle here. So pretty decent signing by the St. Louis Blues. The Boston Bruins have signed former Devils defenseman John Moore to a five-year contract with $2.75 million per year. I was a little bit surprised here that they gave him so much term. The annual value isn't too bad for what Moore brings to the table, uh, but he's got a five-year deal worth $2.75 million with the Boston Bruins. Chicago Blackhawks have made a number of signings today as well. I believe in the other video we mentioned that they signed Cam Ward to a one-year deal uh, to be the backup goalie to go along with Corey Crawford there. They've also signed veteran forward Chris Kunitz to a one-year $1 million deal and they've also signed defenseman Brandon Manning formerly of the Philadelphia Flyers as well. Terms of that contract are not readily available to my fingertips here right now but they have brought in Kunitz and Manning. The Arizona Coyotes have signed speedster Michael Grabner to a three-year contract. Obviously, Grabner played a long time with the Rangers. He's bounced around a lot in his career, formerly of the Rangers. Got traded to the Devils at the deadline. Wasn't really a fit there. And he's gone down to play now with the Arizona Coyotes. He's got a three-year deal with $3.35 million per season. So hopefully, Grabner will be a good fit with the Coyotes organization. The Carolina Hurricanes have finally found themselves a gold under to go along with Scott Darling. They're bringing in former Philadelphia and Detroit goalie Peter Morazic. Now this is a short-term deal, one year worth around one and a half million dollars. So there's been a lot of questions and we've had a lot of comments on this channel asking who I thought Carolina was going to sign or are they going to go out and find another goalie? And all the reports had indicated that definitely were going to sign somebody to go along with Darling here via free agency. And they've kind of zeroed in on their guy here, Peter Morazic. Now a lot of the other goalies that might have been better options were already kind of locked up to other teams here so the Hurricanes are able to land Mrazek. So hopefully Mrazek and Darling, who kind of both come off disappointing years, can kind of get each other going here. They both need to rebound into a better season for the Hurricanes to really improve their hopes of having a better year in 2018-19. The Dallas Stars have signed veteran forward Blake Como to a contract as well. So the Dallas Stars certainly have some more options here at the forward position. And they've also signed defenseman Roman Polak. I was a little bit surprised Mike Babcock wasn't able to keep Polak in a Leaf uniform, as we all know how much Babcock really loved Polak. But obviously with the John Tavares signing and all the other things they need to look after, uh, they really pretty well could not afford to keep too many other guys in the fold here. It's pretty well all their free agents appear to be on the move. The Polak has signed a one-year deal with the Dallas Stars. Polak's contract is valued at $1.3 million. 
Now, as we mentioned the other day, Jack Johnson appeared to be signing with the Pittsburgh Penguins. We can now 100% confirm that has happened. He's got a five-year contract uh, worth $3.25 million over the next five years. So Johnson should actually bring a little bit more defensive depth to the Penguins organization. I'm a little surprised on the term, to be honest. Uh, but overall, I think what Johnson brings to the table will be beneficial to the Penguins here in the long term. Now, also, the Pittsburgh Penguins are also bringing back uh, Matt Cullen back into the fold. Obviously, Cullen won a number of Stanley Cups with the Penguins, left last year to go back home to Minnesota as they weren't able to offer him a new contract. Uh, but he was uh, contacted by the Penguins and offered another one-year deal. So he will be returning to the Penguins one more time uh, on a one-year short-term contract here. So we'll see. After the Penguins decided to sign Riley Sheehan, I was a little bit surprised to see this deal come, but obviously Sheehan or perhaps can play on the wing. Uh, Cullen certainly provides him a lot more experience and depth of that center position. I know uh, they obviously, he's the player of the day, no one trusts very well. So perhaps we'll see Sheehan maybe play wing or something, or perhaps maybe we'll see a move coming up for Derek Broussard, because obviously you get Crosby, Malkin, Broussard, Sheehan, Cullen, they can't all play center. So one of them, one or two will either have to go to the wing, or perhaps, like I said, either Sheehan goes to the wing, or maybe Broussard is on the move. We'll see. Obviously with the Broussard trade that they picked up from Ottawa, with Vegas retaining salary, the actual cap hit on him is not all that much. So moving him certainly might be an option. The Vancouver Canucks continue to put together a very expensive fourth line today, bringing in Tim Schaller from the Boston Bruins. They signed Schaller to a two-year contract worth an annual value of $1.9 million. So you throw in Antoine Roussel and Jay Beagle and they have one heck of an expensive fourth line. To be completely honest, I'm not surprised they're bringing in some veteran guys like this. I just can't believe the contracts that they're handing out here. So I'm not sure what's going on uh, with Jim Benning and company. Uh, I understand the types of players they're bringing in. I don't question that, but I do question the dollars and the term on all of these guys. Uh, and two years isn't terrible for Schaller. That's not so much a problem, but the deals on Roussel and, uh, and Beagle were both longer and more money. So kind of, you know, hard to wrap your head around what the Canucks are doing here. Uh, but they have a very expensive fourth line after today. Thomas Hickey has opted to re-sign with the New York Islanders. Hickey has signed a four-year deal with two and a half million dollars per season so obviously you know that's some good news for the Islanders we just finished reporting on John Tavares leaving the Islanders for Toronto so obviously that's not much of a consolation prize I know so Islanders fans I'm sorry to have to give you the bad news fans everywhere are terribly upset right now understandably so uh, so the news of Thomas Hickey resigning I know isn't going to help much uh, but at the same time that's all the news we have right now for the Islanders, it is still being speculated they might be zeroing in on bringing in Robin Leonard as their next goaltender perhaps, uh, but that's yet to be confirmed as well. The Colorado Avalanche have signed veteran defenseman Ian Cole. Uh, obviously it looked like Cole might be remaining with the Columbus Blue Jackets after they brought him in at the trade deadline, but that's not to be. Cole has moved on to the Colorado Avalanche here as a free agent. Cole has signed a three-year deal with $4.25 million per season. So Ian Cole certainly seems to be a very serviceable defenseman, uh, bottom pairing type of player. Uh, so he should fit well with the Avalanche. Uh, they do have a pretty decent up-and-coming defense core there. And they have some excellent prospects along the way. So Cole should be a, a good fit there to have some veteran leadership on the back end while those younger players develop here over the next couple of years. We can also confirm as well, which we may have mentioned in any other video, but I don't think it was confirmed at the time, but Thomas Placanix is returning to the Montreal Canadiens on a one-year contract. So he will play his 1,000th game with his turtleneck on and a Habs uniform, as most of us fully suspected here, leading into the offseason. Season. So Placanics back with Montreal, certainly not going to fix their center depth, but at least it's a step in the right direction. Hopefully he can play down the lineup, play third or fourth line and give them a little bit of stability in their bottom six. Now, a couple other quick notes here, not so much related to free agency and players on the move, but we have seen a couple of youngsters from the draft sign their entry level contracts. Uh, speaking of the Habs, they did sign uh, the center that they drafted number three overall, just Perry Kokaniemi. Uh, and the number three pick, as I said, signed his entry-level contract today as well, three-year deal. And the Hurricanes also signed sniper Andre Svechnikov, who they took number two. He's been signed to his entry-level contract today as well. So those guys are under contract. And we also saw the Tampa Bay Lightning lock up Ryan McDonough to a contract extension for an extra seven years. So obviously McDonough gets a huge deal there on the back end of the Tampa Bay. Uh, so obviously he'll be in Tampa Bay for a long time to come. So a few other notes there just to add on to this video that I didn't uh, feel were, you know, they're doing this whole separate video for since we're talking about contracts and free agency here. Now, if you're new to the channel, I hope you consider subscribing. We cover all 31 NHL teams and there is plenty of content here for all hockey fans to enjoy. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you also, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button as well. I'd appreciate it if you did. As always, thank you very much for watching everybody. We will catch you next time.